Hey guys, Thunder E here, and the S23 Ultra has been announced, as well as the full Galaxy S23 line, and it's pretty exciting. Now, if you're joining us for the very first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification icon to get notified about videos like this. So the S23 Ultra, how does it stack up against the S22 Ultra? That's what we're about to find out in this video. If you're a Galaxy Note user like me or an Ultra user, then this video is really important. How well do they stack up? Now let's start off with the first thing, of course, design. Both devices look rather similar. Yes, they do at very first glance, but there are some key differences with the S23 Ultra compared to the S22 Ultra. The S23 Ultra has a flat side design. Uh, it's not as, the curve on the screen is not as pronounced as the S22 Ultra, and it feels more like a Galaxy Note, more with that boxier shape in tow, which is nice to see. The other thing too is a lot of the sustainability aspects that Samsung has talked about, they've actually included it more into this device. So you've got recycled front glass, both the front and back is using Gorilla Glass Victus 2, made from recycled materials, which is pretty nice. You've also got recycled uh, materials in the volume keys, the speaker grill, the speaker module itself. So they're using more of this ocean plastics in the devices to make it at least more sustainable, which I glad to see and that's pretty nice. Maybe not as aesthetically uh, forward as you might expect, but at least they're doing some really cool stuff there. So that's one key thing to actually take note. There's also some recycled aluminum in the device as well. Now, the next thing of course is the camera and that's one of the biggest things they announced. Samsung is moving from its 108 megapixel camera on the S22 Ultra and moving to a brand new 200 megapixel sensor for its main camera. Now that's not all, all the cameras on the device will also have uh, updated uh, lenses as well. So the periscopic zoom, the 10X periscopic zoom, the 10X regular zoom, as well as also the ultra wide and the front facing camera. So what does that actually give you in terms of usage? Well, with the S23 Ultra, you do have uh, raw images captured at 50 megapixels and 200 megapixels. So you're getting sharper, more condensed images altogether. This will also help with nighttime photography as well because this pixel binning now does uh, 16 megapixels in total. You should be getting some better images there. Um, and then when it comes to video, you're getting 2X OIS with this device. So that means stabilization is better than the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And we're even seeing some of that stabilization with things like Super Steady, which now uh, shoots at 2K 60 frames per second. It used to be just 1080p. Now it's 2K 60 frames per second for Super Steady. So I can't wait to check that out fully once I have the device in-house in hand. And another thing, of course, for video lovers is that now you can film at 8K 30 frames per second instead of just 8K 24 frames per second as we had on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, to make this all happen, this is powered by a brand new processor. And for all those out there, this is the same processor on all Galaxy devices. This is the Snapdragon mobile platform for Galaxy. This is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 uh, mobile platform for Galaxy devices. So this is a specific chip for Samsung that's based off the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, uh, which is a higher clock speed uh, that brings in a ton of new features. Now that clock speed should improve gaming on the device, so you're getting better gaming performance overall. Should also help with the battery management and overall optimization of this device. Of course, when we do our full review and we spend more time with the device, we'll see. But again, this is the first uh, Galaxy S device in a while to have a full Snapdragon complement across the planet, which is great to see and something the S22 Ultra just didn't have. Now this also will be seen in all Galaxy devices. So this, this chipset will be there with the S23 Plus as well as the S23. So they're all getting the same chipset across the board. And speaking of something that's across the board that's actually quite interesting, is the fact that you now have four colors and these four colors will be seen across the board, the same color sets between the S23 Ultra, S23 Plus and S23. You're looking at uh, uh, black, you're looking at a white color, you're looking at green, which I do like. You're looking at this kind of like, um, you know, shade pink, if you will. So those are the colors you're getting. Now the, on the downside, the S Pen do not have the specific colors, they're all black. So that's just something to take note. 
Now, one of the things I like about the Galaxy S23 Ultra is the pricing. The pricing is still the same at $1,199, same as last year with the S22 Ultra, but there's a big difference. The difference here is that you're getting more storage at the same price with the S23 Ultra. So last year with the S22 Ultra, it started at 128 gigabytes of storage. Now the S23 Ultra starts at 256 gigabytes of storage with eight gigs of RAM, goes up to 12 gigabytes of RAM and a terabyte of storage. So that's actually pretty cool there. And I think makes compelling reasons for anyone who is looking to upgrade. Now, I'm gonna make that a little bit easier for you here. Definitely use my link down below. Samsung has some really great trading offers, as well as also you be getting some discounts on there. So let me know what you think about the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Is, it, is this the upgrade you've been waiting for? Do you think these features are great? And are you getting one? If you are, use those links down below. And otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.